Hello and welcome to Heart Center. I'm Jake Vladica and this is Rachel Bartholomew. Red Ribbon Week culminated Friday as many spooky costumes were on display. Red Ribbon Week was sponsored by SAD as an effort to raise awareness about the fight against drugs. Teachers and students alike all dressed up to show their support. The football season has come to a close. Saturday, the boys took on Holy Trinity. Trace Bourne again found the end zone twice on the ground and Nick Andrews threw a touchdown pass to Dustin Evans to add to the total. Seniors played their final game on Saturday where Nick Petro, Tony Arbuckle, Ricky Baker, Nate Waugh, Devin Cohan, Austin Reed, Dagan Jones, and Brad McEachern. The girls' soccer season was packed full of some very tight games, closer than in any years past. They turned the tables on Cambridge during their lights game, reducing the score from 11-0 to in their previous meeting to 3-1. to Although the season itself did not post many wins, many players' hard work has been recognized. Alexis Smith received acclaim for her five goals scored. Marissa Brown was named team MVP, and the most improved player was Mackenzie Aldis. The girls hope to build on this year's success and look forward to new opponents next year in the Adirondack League. Seniors on this year's team were Kate Gilbert, Hannah Gould, Emily Fox, Marissa Brown, Brooke Stanley, Sue Van Gelder, and Mackenzie Aldis. Boys Soccer wrapped up their year with this year's award banquet. Receiving team awards were Coach's Award Jake Vladica, Most Improved Brennan Boyer, and MVP Damani Williams. Receiving Wazarin League awards were Damani Williams making second team, and Zach Vanderbinden, Barb Bartholomew, Logan Baker, and Jake Vladica all receiving an honorable mention. Seniors on this year's team were Damani Williams, Zach Vanderbinden, Brendan Boyer, Devin Cohan, Jordan Smith, and John Halter. Field Hockey will be honoring its seniors and other award winners at their banquet this Friday. Seniors on this year's squad were Natalie Burke, Haley Knowles, Courtney Hebler, and Larissa Stavazowski. The girls went 8-8 eight eight on the year and have a strong batch of juniors poised for a stellar senior campaign. Don't forget to watch a different kind of football this Thursday from 4 to 5 as the Powder Puff Championship is on the line. The boys will be coaching and cheering and the junior and senior girls will be squaring off against each other in a battle for Powder Puff supremacy. From all of us here at Horde Center, I'm Jake. And I'm Rachel. Go Horde.